Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am Carla, Urban Carla. And in today's video, we are going to do a festival rave look using the James Charles palette. So if you want to see how I create that look, please keep on watching. Okay, so I barely got the James Charles palette the other day it's like it's been months since it was released but i finally got it and i love the colors in it and i feel like it's perfect for rave season and rave season is already around the corner so we about to do some cute colorful eyeshadow look today i'm gonna use this palette right here um this is my first time opening it looking at it and yeah so we're gonna try to do a look with it because i haven't touched these um eyeshadows so like we're gonna see how it goes so first things first we are going to conceal our eyes because i feel like when you put concealer on it comes out a lot brighter so i am using my cap on d one it's m27 warm just gonna put it all over the lid i love the cab on the concealer because it's very full coverage like her um her foundation and it doesn't crease so this is perfect for the eyelid too now we're just gonna blend it all together and we are going to highlight our um our brow brow bone for today we are going to highlight our brow bone with it's called ring light this one it's shimmery if you could see it i bet it's really cute so we're gonna try it out hopefully i like this palette because i've been waiting for it for like a long time like it's always oh my gosh like one swipe and it's like already blinding like i feel like i put way too much or something oh my gosh pigmentation okay well i like that one we're gonna use that one a lot probably Oh my gosh, so you don't need to add a lot to your brush because like it's like so pigmented like I hope I didn't put too much Okay Yes Okay, that's good Okay, so we are going to take this fluffy brush right here is the MB25 and we're gonna take this orange color right there uh, the name of it's 518 or 518 and we're just gonna go right here and then we're gonna just work our way to this side let's see this eyeshadow does not have fallout and that's so good like I'm proud of James cause like so far I'm liking the the shadows like really good. Okay. Usually I do like a small halo, but we're gonna like do something different. We're just gonna like keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it simple because it's like super easy to do and like it comes out like really cute and bomb. So now, we're going to go in with the pink. The pink is called Skip. And it looks like this. Super cute, like baby pink. Yes. Okay. I'm going to dust off the brush. 
I feel like if you did, if you want it to come out bright, you would have to conceal. Because I know if I didn't conceal, like, it would be really light right now. But it's actually coming out really cute. Let's see. I kind of want to go in with my other palette the 35b just because i like my stuff shimmery and the colorful um shades in this palette they're all matte and i'm like a shimmery type of girl so i'm probably gonna go over it oh my gosh like i thought this wasn't gonna come out but it's like pretty pigmented yes Now, we're going to go in with purple. I don't know if I should use another purple because the purples in here are dark. Let me see. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to go in with this purple from the um, 35B. It's this one. It's like a, like a purple pinkish. Okay. Just because the other ones are like darker. From the James Charles palette. Oh my god! I love it. Now, mm, I'm going to go back to the James Charles palette. We are going to do Playground. It's this beautiful blue. I love this blue right here. Bright as F. Bright as F. See, like, this is, like, su super fast. Like, sometimes I don't have patience to do my makeup, but... I want to be cute oh my gosh like I just did it once I'm so proud of James okay see and like when you do the like the blue and the light purple it like turns like dark purple and it just blends together so good oh my gosh I'm like, okay, it doesn't look that good right now, but but it's about to be good. Okay. Oh my god, oh my gosh, I'm like so happy right now. Like, I'm in love with this palette, you guys have to get it. Now, we're just going to blend the side and the top. I'm using the G... 17 the long blending brush i only use two brushes um for blending because i don't know it's super easy okay so i'm just gonna blend it because you don't want it to like have harsh lines oh my gosh i am so happy with this palette Okay, now I think I'm going to add like shimmer, we're going to add some shimmer, I love this right here, that purple pink, I just have to get in there, let's see, it's artistry, it's called artistry, let's see what's up. I'm probably going to use my fingers, but I don't know for the orange. Okay, so we'll do the orange first. We're going to go in with this shade right here and the 35B. I like to use my finger if you want it to like come out super 
Piak Montier. I'm just gonna put a little because I'm already loving the orange that I put on. Oh my gosh. Okay. And now we're gonna do the pink. I don't know what pink to use. Let's see. We'll try this one right here. If you like a colorful shimmery palette, I suggest you get the 35B because the ones in James' um, palette, he mostly has matte. Oh my gosh, it just gives it that like kick. That kick. Okay, and then we are gonna go to Artistry in the James Charles palette because I've been waiting for this moment. Like, once I seen that color, I was like, I gotta get in there. Oh my gosh, it feels so different from like the shimmery colors from the other palette because he said something was like a pressed pigmented thing. Okay. So yeah, this one's definitely more like a glitter. It's not like a shimmery eyeshadow. So it's definitely different. But I could see kind of the glitter in there. It's pretty cute. It's like shimmery. Okay, now we're going to go in with this one. It's called Hello. Welcome to my channel. Just kidding. But this one, we're going to see how it goes. That one. Let me see that other palette. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to try it, and if it doesn't work out, I'm going to go in with the other one, because I like the other one a little better, because it's darker. Let's see. This one's really light. Oh, but it's still cute. Okay, I like this one. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Look. Bomb. Now, we're going to go into my favorite part of all, which is the inner corner. It's going to be yellow. I love, like, bright colors. I love putting yellows and, like, whites right there. So, it's going to, it's about to be bomb. We're going to use this little, this little thingy right there. And then we're going to go in with, what is it called? B like a bumblebee it's this one <laughs> okay and you're ready go okay cute oh my gosh like i'm so happy like you should not work hard when you're trying to do your eyeshadow like it should come out like already the first time you apply. What is that? Sorry, my camera's saying something. I don't know what it means. Okay. Okay, so I added that yellow, and now I'm going to go back with this yellow because this yellow is so bomb. I feel like shimmery yellows come out more pigmented than matte. This one is cute, but I just want to, like, make it poppin'. Poppin'. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to do the bottom. Some of the pink already filled, so I'm probably going to just add a little tiny bit. So let me, I'm just going to try to blend the yellow and the orange together. Okay, so we're going to go at the bottom, and we're going to go in with the blue that we use on the top let's go like this cause there's already pink and stuff right there so now if it looks all blended out you are going to 
um, just cut it because you don't want to look like that, girl. You want to cut that shit. Okay. We're going to cut it. Alright, so all I did was I did a line and then I just like blended it out. Now I'm going to do my liner, lashes, and I'm going to show you guys how I put on my glitter. Okay, so I put my lashes on, makeup shack, and I put little diamonds right here. These diamonds, you can get them at Joann's or Michael's. So now I'm going to go in with my NYX NYX glitter. And we're going to go in with the glitter glue also. And we're just going to add right here where the blue is. We're just going to add right here with the blue is. And then, um, if you got under eye bags like me we're gonna put some right here like you could kind of see it it's just like it's a cute like little mixture you know so we're just gonna do that and then we're gonna add the highlight I'm just going to put it all over. And yeah, it's going to look super cute. I feel like I'm slowly going to retire, like, my rave lifestyle. Because your girl is getting old. Well, I should have started raving, like, two years ago. But I started raving when I was 14. Because... I was like a bad, I was like a really bad girl. Like I used to use my sister's ID. Dang, super cute. I don't know if you can see this side, but look at this. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with a uh, summer snow cone, Jeffree Star, I broke that. We're gonna go in with the Morphe brush, the M510 or whatever. I'm just gonna go in right here. I love this one because it's like yellow. I went ahead and I used my Jeffree Star Rose Matter Lippy and I topped it off with this nyx metallic gold one and yeah this is the final look guys i hope you guys love this look i do i am ready to rave i'm ready to go on a rave right now this highlight is popping and yeah thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up let me know what you guys think of this look also love you guys <laughs>